So what do you what do you mean when you say you feel like you're evolving? Uh, I feel like I'm evolving because I'm figuring out the things. I'm, I'm figuring out more so what style is and what my style is and what that basically is is things that I've seen over the time of my life over a period of time that maybe when I was a kid, like my mom used to give me mad cool stuff and I used to live in Oklahoma and I used to see people wearing cowboy boots and I had cowboy boots when I was about seven or eight years old, you know? And at one point I thought it was mad corny and I left that alone and I evolved. <clears throat> and like I said, my mom used to really give us little cool, hip little stuff because my mom was stylish. So she, she kind of gave us things that she thought was dope. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So all of the things she was dope, thought was dope, influenced me in the beginning. So that was a plateau right here. Mm -hmm. And then, like I said, cowboy boots. Then I went to Hawaii. And you know, you learn about the Hawaiian shirts and the fabric and you know, you learn the things that they find dope and what they find important. Uh, like, I forgot what the shirts are actually called, but it's a specific cotton that they use over there. And, they, and it's high line. It's mm -hmm. very expensive. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> then you come back to the States and always New York is the center and the mecca of fashion and things that you always see something that's inspirational or something that's dope or you see somebody and you're growing up you're like yo when I get older I'm gonna get one of those and you become inspired and you aspire to one day get that because you think that that is dope and it might be a gold rope chain and you say oh when I get old I'm gonna get me a rope chain because I want to look cool like that guy and it'll burn into your memory and as you got older, it comes across again like, oh, I'm going to get a rope chain. And you go get it. And you add it to maybe some cowboy boots. that Because you see some cowboy boots that are dope. And it's like, oh, you know, I remember I had those cowboy boots. Let me try these on real quick. You know what I mean? And you pull from different times in your life and things that you've seen. Uh, I like rock music. I like, like I said, I've been everywhere. Oklahoma, California, Hawaii, Georgia, Illinois, New York, Germany. Like, it's all the things that you see. So I would see rockers. And I'd be like, yo, I like the way that they dress. It's very simple. I pull from that, you know, and I add it to myself. It's something that I'm inspired with. Simplicity, something that's dope. A little chain. You know what I mean? Like, you pull from different things that inspired you. The hip-hop era. Jerseys, leather, uh, denim, man, chains, gold, you know, hip-hop. You don't, you don't do golf, but you see certain things that are like, oh, that inspires me. I like that. And you pull from it, you know what I mean? And that, to me, determines personal style. I had this conversation with Lambo the other day because a lot of things that inspire her also inspire me. A lot of things that inspire you also inspire me. And you'll see something, you're like, oh, shit, I thought about that. And then it inspires yeah. something and brings back a memory of something that maybe you thought of. And I'm not. it wouldn't be copying me. It's just the something that triggered in your memory that you also found dope. Mm -hmm. and you add it to your perspective you're not really copying my perspective because the way that you would wear some cowboy, cowboy boots wouldn't be the way that I would wear because that's my personal style mm -hmm. I wear with a jersey and not care and some skinny jeans and be good but you might do it with a light, nice little lace dress you know what I'm saying <laughs> really and what not throwing a little cowboy hat with a little rocker tee and a nice little chain and that be your thing because though you pull from things that inspire you you inspire maybe by the 50s and you have some jewelry that maybe you saw your grandmother with that was like all oh, the detail and that is so beautiful you know and that inspired you and so as you grew up you you wanted you wanted something like that because you one time thought it was beautiful it inspired you so you go and find something and then that adds to your personal style nobody can do take that from you because that is something that inspired you from your grandmother, they didn't. They don't know who inspired you to want that, mm -hmm. or where it came from. You know what I mean? So, I think that is what style is. We just pull from things that inspire us over time, and sometimes we are someone's inspiration for style. Someone, mm -hmm. sometimes some person can not really have had a perspective before they saw us and see us, and they're like, "Oh my God, that's so dope!" The way they put that together, and then they go to the store and they see something, they be like. Let me try this on and see how it would look on me. And then you they just you just add it to their perspective because they might not have never thought to put something like that together. Mm -hmm. And then they, and it expounds off of that. That doesn't mean you stop growing or evolving or pulling from different things in your life and different things that over time that you're maturing and learning to understand. Like 
when I turn, I, I always knew about like high-end designers, but I never really paid attention to them like that besides the ones that I would hear about in videos like Versace and Gucci. But over time, you learn about Tom Ford and how his, his lines and how the fabric is and the fabrics and stuff. And you add that to your perspective. I don't like, I don't dress up. You know what I mean? But these pants <laughs> are actually Versace pants and they were straight and I just altered them to make them skinny because I wanted to add them to my perspective because I like skinny jeans. Mm -hmm. But it's still appreciating great fabric and great design and, and you know what I mean? But you're accustomed to your style, the way that you do it. This is my perspective. Ain't nobody in this world gonna have no pants like this altered to fit these skinny legs just like, you know what I mean? Right. This is my perspective. So to me, that's just what style is. And I'm learning that and I'm learning that I can't be mad when I see somebody else adopt something that originated is from me. It's, it came from my inspiration, things that I pulled from. It's like, yo, I'm inspiring you. That's what's up. And I'm inspired by other people because I see things. Oh.